Hey everyone, Raider here. Hope you're all doing great and having a fantastic day. So today's video is going to be mm, more of a news update than anything else, but one that I'm really happy to share with you guys. Um, so you may have noticed if you're regulars to the channel that I haven't posted anything yet about the S23 coming up, right? We're going to see that in late January, early February, just like we do every year. And I haven't posted a single video about it. And the reason being is because I haven't really been that excited for it. Up until just a few days ago, I was under the impression that the Samsung foundry would be manufacturing the chips for it. Even though it's going to be a Snapdragon, we know that it's going to be from Qualcomm for sure. But I was under the impression that Samsung was going to be the foundry manufacturing the chips, which does not get me excited at all. It's a big no-no for me. Compared to TSMC, uh, there's just no comparison really. TSMC just makes far superior chips. Well, just four days ago, Ice Universe basically debunked that myth and has confirmed that we are indeed getting the TSMC chips on the S23 Ultra. Now this is a big deal. So I'm gonna tell you straight up front, I feel like this is a bigger deal than any other upgrade happening to the device. I know we have a 200 megapixel shooter that's gonna come along with it, a brighter screen, the audio is probably gonna be improved. All those things are nice and dandy, but they pale in comparison in compared to getting the TSMC chip. I'll give you a comparison real quick. So I'm using the Fold 4 right now. I've had this since launch. And prior to this, I had the Fold 3. So the Fold 3 is not manufactured by TSMC. Snapdragon chip, but the foundry is not TSMC. And that was a 888 plus. So the Fold 4 here is manufactured by TSMC at their foundry. And this is an 8 plus Gen 1. And I'll tell you, I'm being straight up here too. Very straight up and matter of fact with you. The battery life on the Fold 4 flat out destroys the Fold 3. There's not even a comparison. And I'm being very honest about that too. It is my number one favorite feature, quote unquote, with the Fold 4 over anything else that it has. And keep in mind that this processor, it's faster, right? So it's clocked higher. So it's taking up more battery. It should anyway, in theory, but even though it's not, the screen is significantly brighter than the Fold 3 the audio gets louder. What I'm getting at is this device on paper should consume a lot more power than the Fold 3. But since that chip is manufactured from TSMC, you get a lot better battery out of this here. So I am expecting that, and I, I'm definitely expecting this to carry over into the S23. According to the stats that I'm seeing on benchmarks that are already out there for this chipset, we're looking at a 20% gain from last year. And since they're going from the Samsung Foundry to TSMC, that's a twofold, right? We're going Snapdragon all the way instead of having a, a mixed bag of Snapdragon here on the West and Exynos over on, you know, out in Europe and other regions. We're now going to have Snapdragon, so that's a plus as far as performance. And the double whammy is they're going to be manufactured by TSMC at their Foundry. That is a huge win for those of us looking to upgrade to the S23. So for me, the whole TSMC chipset thing is the biggest upgrade to the S23 and the S23 Plus and the S23 Ultra and is the one component of the device that I am the most excited for. From someone that really appreciates high performance and someone that does appreciate good battery life to where I'm not having to worry about if I have enough at the end of the day, I am really looking forward to the TSMC SoC on the S23. So just some exciting news I wanted to share with you guys. If for some reason this changes, I'll of course put out a heartbreaking update video, but hopefully I never have to make that video. All right guys, as always, thanks for watching.